Today, treasure piles. Today, I'm going to show you a really easy way to make treasure piles that will match the cave tiles that we built in episode one. Um, the first thing we're going to do is make these little bases on washers, and that technique you can take and use on any sort of item you want. We're going to use it on treasure today, but you want to do crystals, you want to do little bushes, you want to do whatever. Uh, this is a really simple, easy way to make bases that match those cave tiles. Um, there's already a lot of videos on making treasure piles, so some of this you may already know, but I do have at least one cool little trick up my sleeve that I haven't seen in any other videos. Uh, so. Hopefully it'll be new for you and you'll like it, and uh, yeah. Let's make gold. Okay, grab a one inch washer. I like to put some tape on the back. This stops your glue from going through the center hole and gives the base a softer surface uh, than the metal so you don't damage your terrain. Next, cover the washer in hot glue. Uh, this will build up some texture and give you a better surface to bond to in the next step. Cover the entire area in full strength PVA glue. Now completely cover in play sand. And tap off the excess and let the glue dry completely before painting. And here I've painted the base using the same technique as the cave tiles in episode one. Grab some gold glitter. I prefer the coarser type as I think it looks a little bit more like coins. You may also want to add some jewels. I got this assortment of sizes and colors at Michael's. Uh, they were very cheap, maybe three bucks for the whole case, uh, but they aren't the highest quality. If you want a more realistic and reflective jewel, uh, get the ones that Wylock uses in his treasure pile tutorial. Here I spread some tacky glue and start placing the jewels. I found that tacky glue is easier to work with when placing these tiny little items, uh, but if you don't have any on hand, normal PVA glue will work just fine. Once you're happy with your jewel placement, cover the whole thing in glitter. Don't be shy. Come on, there you go. Just shake off the excess and you have yourself a very nice looking treasure pile. The last step is a protective coating. My secret weapon, clear nail polish. Just buy yourself the cheapest stuff you can get at the dollar store. Cover the entire pile. This will add some nice shine, but more importantly, it will lock in all that glitter and make the pile rock hard, keeping it looking good for a really long time, even if you throw these in a bin full of other terrain and minis. All right, that's a nice easy project complete. If you enjoyed the vid, please go and hit subscribe. Also, you can like Black Magic Craft on Facebook to keep updated on various projects I'm working on. And if you have any requests for tutorials, go ahead and post them in the comments. If it's something cool, I'll probably build it. This video was a request. See you in the next one. Treasure!